Well, I'm uh, uh, American born of Scottish ancestry. I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. And I started playing the pipes when I was 18 years old. Uh, in the, in the usual way that most Americans start playing the pipes, they join a pipe band, and I joined the Houston Highlanders. Mm -hmm. By the time I was 12 years old, I was demanding of my mother to get me a set of pipes, because I wanted to play the pipes more than anything else. But my mother, being an old-fashioned sort, she, is, uh, she was of the opinion that God only passes out one talent to a person. <laughs> Okay. You're already a talented artist. You cannot <laughs> possibly be a musician. Wow. So I'm not going to waste money on uh, on something that's uh, that's not, okay. not feasible. So I had to wait till I was 18, working my first job and making my own money before I could buy my own sure. pipes and, and take lessons. Yeah. But I proved her wrong. Yeah. Uh, a couple years later, I uh, I received a small inheritance. Wow. And I used that to go to Scotland to study at the College of Piping in Glasgow. Wow. And I came to New York, uh, after living in San Francisco for 15 years, I wow. came to New York five years ago mm -hmm. and uh, continued piping as a, uh, as a living. And this is, in fact, in fact, the best town I've ever been in for it. And then my pipes were stolen three years ago. Wow. And uh, that left me without an income. And I quickly, uh, I quickly uh, uh, became homeless and, uh, and broke. And I started this book stand as okay. a way of making a living. I put together this cart and, uh, and set it up here mm -hmm. and started uh, uh, encouraging people with uh, excess books to donate them. To sure. Them. Yes. When I'd had enough of it, <laughs> my, uh, of all the people around here, Michael seemed like the most uh, intelligent, responsible, sure. and, and capable person. Mm -hmm. I gave it to him. And you're back to playing I'm the pipes. I'm playing the pipes for a living. That's yeah. exciting. And it cer certainly beats the selling books. <laughs> sure. So um, I, as you know, am not in any way affiliated with the Humans of New York, but yeah. that must have been a really amazing experience. Can you uh, so that young fellow, Brandon, mm -hmm. uh, I was, I was uh, having coffee around the corner at uh, mm -hmm. one of the tables mm -hmm. there, and the fellow just uh, came up and asked me if they could take my photograph because he thought I was interesting looking. Sure. And so after he, he photographed me, he uh, started asking me questions, and I, uh, I basically told him my story. And then I, I led him around here to the book stand. Mm -hmm. Michael wasn't here at the time, yeah. but I showed it to him, and he photographed me with it. Yep. And uh, he put it on his website, and uh, and you uh, apparently picked up on it. Yeah. Said, uh, some graduate student came up to me, <laughs> and wanted to talk to me about what I was doing. So yeah. I played the pipes for a minute and came back to the book stand and. Took a few photographs, gave him my story, and off he went. Cool. Yeah. Knowing, uh, knowing the quality of what McPherson makes, uh, this is going to probably be the best, uh, <laughs> the best instrument I've ever owned. Good. Uh, well, we'll this one, this one is going to be my gig pipe. Good. We'll, <laughs> and we'll definitely take your info in case anybody's interested in having a piper. That'll be a good way to yeah. get your name out. Indeed. Uh, oh, by the way. I haven't thanked anybody yet. First of all, I thank you, <laughs> and I thank Brandon from the bottom of my heart with all my all, all sincerity. None of this would and have ever Ms. happened without Brandon, for sure. And I thank Michael, and I thank uh, Mr. McPherson for making this lovely thing, and I thank the people of New York who made it possible. I will have, I'll never have anything bad to say about the people of New York. <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. Would you play some pipes for us? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Hey guys, so I could not be more excited to wrap up this campaign. There are some people without whom this could have never ever happened. Number one, are you the donors? Had you not uh, donated the money and followed your sense of altruism, none of this could have ever come together. Uh, number two is Malcolm's partner, Michael, has been absolutely invaluable in, felicitating, in facilitating this whole thing. So could not have happened without him. And finally, I would like to thank Jonathan and Nikora 
for um, you know taking some phenomenal pictures and making this video happen and last but not least my friends uh, Jen Levy, James Mayer, Felicia Scalzetti and Manar, Manar Al Harash for uh, being by my side and kind of walking me through this whole project. Thank you so much.